If you're angry with me, why don't you just tell me? You don't have to hit on some student nurse just to make a point. Okay, I was under the impression this was Patrick's apartment, and I was invited. And my name's Layla. Yeah, I know what your name is. I also know you've been hitting on my boyfriend for quite a while. Not that it's very difficult for you. He's very receptive. You know what? I like Layla. Very much, as a matter of fact. But I'm not hitting on her. I have too much respect for our relationship and for her. You're massively overreacting because of your own insecurities. Right. So if you walked in on me and Nicholas or better Jason, that would be totally fine with you. Quinn, have I ever objected to you having male friends? You can spend as much time as you want with Nicholas or Jason or anybody else you choose. Are you really going to sit there and listen to our private conversation? Didn't I just ask you to leave? Layla is a guest by my invitation. <sighs> well then, Layla, I'm really sorry. I guess I owe you an apology. I thought you were the one that was hitting on Patrick, and now I understand it's the other way around. <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm... I consider Patrick a friend and a colleague, and he was just helping me study. That's it. Yeah, that completely explains playing with the racetrack. We were taking a break. You don't have to justify yourself, Leila. Okay, um, I appreciate your help, and I certainly didn't intend to cause a fight. I'm sorry you feel the need to be so territorial. Are you embarrassed? Because you just made a fool of yourself. Fine. I practically live here because that's what you said you wanted. I've been completely upfront with my feelings. And I told you from the beginning, I don't want Layla around you because I don't. Because you don't trust me. How am I supposed to trust you when this morning it was all about how much you love me and wanting to spend time with me and then I come home to find this? So now you doubt that I even love you, Robin? <sighs> Maybe we have a different idea of love. I mean, to me, love is about commitment and fidelity. I had one toy car race with an attractive woman, and now I'm unfaithful. Robin, that's crazy. You know what? I agree. We can't even go a couple of days without having some hideous misunderstanding, and you feel completely comfortable calling me out in front of a third party, calling me insecure? You are insecure. You just ordered a guest out of my apartment. <sighs> We're out of sync. We are almost all the time, and that is not what I want from a relationship. Do you? This whole thing... I agree. We're in serious trouble. If there is a we anymore. And you wonder why I feel insecure. See, that's what I mean. You're so quick to the offense, I never know what's going to set you off. You're rigid and inflexible. If you can't control how I feel, how I react, or who I have in my apartment, it's a major crisis. How is this suddenly my fault? And how am I supposed to feel secure when you basically go into a blind panic when you think I might be pregnant? And then, when I'm not, you're so ecstatic. So if I don't react exactly how you think I should, when you think I should, then I'm wrong. No, no, that's not what I'm saying. Then what, then wh wh why are we talking about babies again? My life has never been about having children. I mean, if you would have asked me six months ago, I would have said that I was years away from wanting to be a mother. But as rigid and inflexible as you think I am, I'm changing. And I'm starting to think that you and I have very different life goals. If you're talking about babies, then yeah, we do. I need for you to be honest. I am. That's the problem. We're not fighting about furniture, or our parents, or even the nurse. I mean, I'm hearing you say that you want something different, not only from our relationship, but from our lives. I don't want to be a father, Robin. I want to be a world-class neurosurgeon. I love the pursuit of excellence. I get off on being in the OR and saving lives. I need to be able to work hard and play hard. I want to put my feelings first without shortchanging a kid. But I love you. I love being with you. I love working.
working together, waking up in the morning. I don't like going to opera with you. <laughs> Sometimes. Hell, I even like fighting with you. And I could do what we do indefinitely exactly like this. Robin, I don't want to settle down or be domesticated. And I'm sorry, but I don't look at you as the mother of my future children because I don't want kids. And if you need to find a guy that is the future father of your children, then I'm sorry, but that's not me. Well, thank you for being honest. I'll call you to arrange picking up my stuff.